though this piece of wallpaper at the end has been damaged and the decision has been made to remove from this wall over here, I wanna show you how to do the least amount of damage to the wall underneath when you're removing a piece of wallpaper, especially one that's so strong as the material I'm about to remove. Now, there's two ways to do it. One is I pull the wallpaper out towards me, which is everyone's inclination. Or to put less stress on the wall underneath it, you could pull it straight upward to reduce pulling on the wall underneath it. So really close to the wall. You could do this from above too. You could simply keep the paper as close to the wall as possible thereby preventing the substrate from doing that. Okay? This is how you want it, right here. But if I pull it like this, I'm not gonna show you because I don't wanna do the repair. You're going to damage the wall underneath it. This puts less stress on the surface doing it this way. Let's continue. After mounting a ladder, I'm going to continue in the direction and in the manner that I proceeded with below. Remember, pulling it out from the wall although it might come off easier, would be good on your muscles, but hard on the wall. Resist the temptation to pull it out away from the wall. We're almost there. And there we have it, just about, without any damage to the wall underneath it. Folks, that's the way to go when you're removing wallpaper from the wall that comes off in one piece like this. It's coming off in one piece because this is heavy duty vinyl. 